Welcome to Intello Videos. The repeat for multiple value command is used to repeat one or several commands with variable parameters for each iteration. The table displays the different repeats in rows and the values of one or multiple parameters in columns for each repeat. In this video, I'm going to show you the repeat for multiple values feature which automatically increases the DC bias voltage in the apply settings command and at the same time changes the AC perturbation amplitude in the electrochemical impedance spectroscopy command as shown in the table in this slide. Welcome to Intello software. First, we're going to load from the Outlab library the impedance potential static procedure, so EIS potential static. Then we're going to look at the sequence of the procedure. At the moment, there is no repeat loop in this default procedure. So we can add from the command list this command, repeat multiple times or for multiple values. So we drag and drop this in the procedure in the sequence. Then we can drag the apply settings underneath the repeat loop and the same we can do for the EIS frequency scan. Like this. Then we're going to create a table in the repeat loop for multiple values. We press this plus button, add new parameter column. And the first parameter we're going to add is DC bias voltage. It's potential in volts. Press add. And then we can generate a value. We select the field and then we can generate values. Well, we can start, for example, with 0.3 volt up to, let's say, 0.5 volt. The distribution is linear and we have three values in between. So when I add to the table, it's creating these values as a DC bias voltage. Now we can add a new parameter in a column and it's the AC perturbation. Also potential in volts. And again, we select the cell and we generate the values. Start value, for example, 0 0.03, so three millivolt amplitude up to, let's say 120 millivolt amplitude. Linear distribution, you can also select logarithmic or square root, but for this case we do linear. And three values in between. So number of values is three values in total. Add to the list. Now I have created my table. So I have my DC bias voltage and my AC perturbation. So I've created a table and I can go now to my commands. Well, first of all, I have to break the links in the main parameters. So the main parameters, I'm going to delete these ones. So this one is gone. And also the AC amplitude is also gone. Okay. Now I can go inside of the command, the apply settings, for example. And behind the potential, which is the DC potential, which you apply, I can link to the repeat loop, for example, as a DC bias voltage. Now it's linked. And then I can do the same for the EIS frequency scan. Double click on it. First, I'm going to modify to root mean square voltage. And I can link the repeat command to the AC perturbation. So here is the amplitude in my EIS frequency scan. And with this button here, we can create a link to the table. So link the repeat command to AC perturbation. Okay. 
now my procedure is set. I can still modify the stabilization time, let's say to 3 seconds, or my first frequency is 10 kHz, last frequency is 10 Hz, so that's all still available in the main parameters. And I can modify the plot, because I want to see after each repeat a different color of my Nyquist plot, for example. So I press Impedance, and I'm going to use the full spectrum of my color gradients. Okay. My procedure is set. The values are in the table. The links are created. Colors are changed. So, and now my procedure is available. So I can press start. When I press start, the measurement starts. The first repeat is applied and you can see in which command it is. It's the stabilization phase. Then it's in the impedance measurement. So we can follow what kind of frequencies and also you can see in the Vionic in the upper right corner you can see that we are applying a 0 0.3 volts DC voltage. This is the measurement. So here's my data. We can enlarge the Nyquist plot by double click on it and we can follow how the Nyquist plot is building up. So this is my first measurement, and it's busy with the second measurement. And as you can see here, this is my second impedance plot with a different color. You can also see that we're now applying a different DC voltage of 0 0.4 volts. Yeah? So you can always go to the monitor uh, of the Vionic to see what's happening and what is applied to the cell. And my last measurement where we're going to apply 0 0.5 volts to the measurement and as you can see what the result is of the DC voltage and the change also of the AC perturbation. So all these values have influence on your impedance measurements. And that's clearly shown in this measurement. The measurement is finished. The data is saved to your personal data folder. So when this is finished, it will automatically save all the data. So as you can see here in the data, there's a uh, influence of the AC perturbation and the DC voltage on your impedance measurement. Thank you for watching Intello videos. If you found this Intello video helpful, please like and share with your colleagues. You can subscribe to the Metrum Autolab YouTube channel so you are notified when new videos are available.